Well, as COVID spikes, the main focus in New York State and right here in central New York is keeping schools at least K-8 through open because there's been very little proof of spread inside our schools and the value it has in keeping kids learning in person. That's right. It's been a focus for our guest tonight, ESM Superintendent Dr. Donna Desiata. Good to see you again, Donna. Thanks so much for joining us live tonight. Really appreciate it. Good to see both of you as well. So update us on how things are going at ESM. Six of the seven schools in your district are part of that yellow zone. That means some testing to keep in-person learning. How's that working? What about overall learning in the district? It's been a little while since we've seen you last. <laughs> That's right. It's uh, uh, the level of uh, the virus transmission reaching the yellow uh, transmission rate definitely presented the new challenges for us with regard to uh, testing 20% uh, of our students uh, or 20% actually of any of the on-site population. So that includes students, staff, teachers. Uh, we began that prior the week, uh, two weeks actually prior to the Thanksgiving break with three of our schools. Uh, we had 100% negative at each of those schools. Um, and then Monday, this Monday and Tuesday, we continued that one of our elementary schools uh, on Monday tested 100% negative. Uh, we had our middle school at uh, with 178 um, individuals tested 100% negative. And then at our high school over 220, uh, 222 uh, tested, uh, 221 tested negative, one uh, tested positive. Um, and so that it's really a remarkable rate of uh, negative testing. Yeah, that is remarkable, you know, showing again that very little spread inside our schools. You know, Jeff and I were talking about this earlier. We're wondering, how is your staff doing? How are the teachers doing? Are they getting burned out? Do you have enough subs to cover when they are out? I, it's, uh, I think it's, it's a challenge because of the fact that this is really ongoing for months and months and months now. And um, our staff is doing remarkably well with regard to really um, staying very engaged with students, having very creative and very engaging lessons. Uh, I think though that it certainly over time takes its toll. I think it was great to have a, a brief relief for, for Thanksgiving because it gave us kind of a, a chance to reconnect with family and loved ones and be able to um, come back and hopefully uh, re-engage again. But it's definitely, you know, this is a, a, a very, very challenging environment. There's no question about it. Each and every day is a challenging environment because it comes with a certain amount of uh, unknown, a certain degree of anxiety and fear of, uh, you know, where will the virus be next? Uh, but I do believe that our schools are doing remarkably well when you t look at the testing results. What's it like to be a superintendent? We heard from some of your, your um Colleagues uh, in, in that uh, industry there, uh, Mark Parter the other day, uh, your protege, uh, Tom Calabufa up in Central Square. It's got to be hard being an administrator in a school district these days. The change has got to come almost minute by minute now. It is. Uh, I mean, one is uh, it is a, a process that each one of us, um, morning, noon and night, including Saturdays and Sundays, um, around the clock, we are working um, to... Uh, we're working to really stay very connected to the Onondaga County Department of Health. We're fortunate that we have our county um, executive and the county team working hand in hand with us. Um, but as superintendents, clearly uh, we are on 24-7. Uh, you know, the, the moments that we get to sleep is probably the only moments and the few moments that we might get to spend uh, with uh, uh, having a... Uh, time to chat with our loved ones, uh, but it's really um, primarily because there's so many aspects of communication and reporting that are required in addition to the typical responsibilities that a superintendent has each and every day. Um, you know, health and safety is clearly paramount. Uh, there are many other aspects, though, to certainly the learning environment, uh, the the um, engagement and the social emotional well-being of our students and our staff, the connectivity and relationships with our parents and our community. I mean, all of that is just important and ongoing. So uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those moments where uh, you have to be up to the challenge each and every day. So staying healthy, staying clear-minded, staying focused is a, a very important part of everything that we're doing. And I do have to say that as superintendents, we try to stay connected with each other. 
uh, because we do understand the work that, he, that we're doing. And so we try to support each other as well. Right, and Donna, we know the schools have layers of protection, but with virus cases surging again, do you feel as if you're facing another stress test here? Well, you know, we're, we're mindful each and every day. I do think that one of the reasons why we see such uh, amazingly uh, high percentages, you know, of of everyone testing negative, you know, the, 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 the grand majority. I mean, we've when you look at the fact that ESM just this week alone tested almost 500 and we had one positive out of that 491, I believe it was, uh, that it's because the protocols that we have in place are really being observed and followed. We have, we're thankful for our staff, our custodians, our bus drivers, our, uh, everyone, our administrators, our teachers, our teaching assistants. Everyone is doing their part. And then our students are doing their part. They're wearing their masks. They're six foot social distancing. Our parents are doing their part, taking temperatures in the morning, keeping students at home if someone is not well in their family. So I think, Christy, we're, we're, we're right now we're ahead of that um but i i i certainly think about the fact that you know it only takes one or two cases to impact a pretty significant number if we don't catch it right away that's right donna yes. desiel yeah. thank you so much we really appreciate you taking time out and explaining it all because every parent out there is wondering the same thing thank you well thanks for all you're doing to keep our parents and our community informed and uh, we thank our community for their ongoing support very important to the well-being of uh, of all especially our youngest uh, generation donna thanks we're going to see you again soon i promise that we have more questions for you so thanks for joining Certainly. us tonight